angry. <laughs> oh, man, honey, that gum was really stuck in there. <laughs> I thought they were only supposed to spank you. Yeah, well, some of them couldn't reach me, so they just spat. <laughs> Sorry, I know it was awful, you know, but we're at that point in our lives where we're paying our dues. Everybody's had a bad day at work. You know, get better. <laughs> better. Yeah. Uh, did you know that Jupiter wants to rig my shorts so it looks like I wet myself every time I lose? <laughs> but you had to be a really good heel before you could become a hero. And that means you have to deal with a certain amount of humiliation. It, whoa. All right. I am no stranger to humiliation. On my 12th birthday, my mom came to school dressed as a clown and handed out pocket combs. <laughs> Later that day, all the kids decided to see exactly how many pocket combs fit in my shorts. <laughs> the answer was all of them. Well, you can't quit. I don't exactly love everything I have to do for work. You know, the skimpy costumes, the, the bizarre dance numbers, the monkey poodle rodeo that went horribly wrong. But <laughs> I kept going because I love to dance. And also because deep in my heart, I believe the monkeys didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> they just wanted to win. So you're saying that if Martine asked you to do something so horrible that the whole audience would hate you and throw things at you and boo you off the stage, you'd do it. No questions asked. <clears throat> that is not the same. <laughs> yes, it is. Look, honey, I love you, but, but until you've been through what I've been through... I don't think you can tell me what to do. And believe me, I hope no one ever tells 1,100 people it's okay to spank you. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I can feel my heart beating in my ass. <laughs> Where's Nikki? We're supposed to rehearse a song. Oh, she'll be here. And when she is, we all have a little something we'd like to say about your offensive, ugly, nasty, repulsive, scandalous, heinous, embarrassing, humiliating song. That I wasn't good enough to sing. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Oh, man, I cannot wait to see the look on his face when you give him the bad news. He has no idea it's coming. Uh, sorry, but um, I've changed my mind. I'm doing the number. But it's horrible. Exactly. I've got to prove a point to Dwight. Unless I'm wrong about this thing and it's a masterpiece I just don't get. I mean, maybe it's not that humiliating. Nope, it's a thunderstorm of puke. I'm fine. <laughs> Our all new Nikki will return on the WB's Hype Night. Comfort. It's the feeling your baby has. Don't do the song, Nikki. I mean, let him quit wrestling. It's not worth it. No, wrestling is everything to him. When I first met him, he was on his way to college, but I encouraged him to follow his dream. Can you believe he was going to be a corporate tax lawyer? You stopped him from doing that? Those guys make a fortune. I think he ruined his life. Oh, Lord, I don't want to hear that now. And besides, he is going to be a great wrestler. I'm just trying to save you from yourself. I don't know why you think if you go through something awful, Dwight's going to do it too. Because the only way to get through to him is by putting my money where my mouth is. So I'll, I'll do the stupid number. People will hate it. It closes tomorrow. And it'll just feel like a bad memory. But he'll get the message. All right. I finally get to see this big song you've been so secretive about. <sighs> Let's get rolling. <laughs> I should probably get going over there, too. Oh, Dwight. What's 14% of 100? 14? He would have been good. <laughs> Let me get my cup 